on the button with a music sound. Hello and welcome to another uncompromising episode of On The Button with me, wannabe sports journalist Angus McStone. My guest tonight is coming off the back of a, a fantastic season. She's won a third Scottish Tournament of Hearts, first World Championship and she's prepping for possibly another first Olympic athlete. Well, I am of course talking about the lead for Team Homan, it's Lisa Weagle. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you Lisa. Thanks for having me. So, the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings in 2017 is going to be your second crack at an Olympic trial. Your last attempt was in 2013. How would you say your, your game plan has changed or your gameplay has changed since then? I think we learned a lot from 2013 and um, just we've grown as players and as people and gained a lot more experience. So we're feeling pretty good heading into this Olympic trials. Now, the Olympic trials are obviously in your hometown of mm. Ottawa, Ontario nation's capital, and that in itself brings another pressure, another dimension. Is that going to bring you more support? I, I'm hoping it'll bring lots more support. Um, the first time we won the Scotties was in Kingston, and we've won in Montreal and St. Catherine, so we kind of felt like we had the home crowd on our side. Um, we're really hoping that Ottawa curling fans can come fill the stands and cheer, cheer us on. Excellent. Now, it seems that there's, there's quite a tight bond between you girls in, in Team Homan, and that's not the same with all teams but let me ask you do you think the friendship that you guys have is partially responsible for for elevating your team to that next level yeah absolutely we're really good friends on and off the ice and we spend so much time together traveling and uh, it, it makes it a lot more fun and enjoyable when we're together and we're having fun and makes the wins a lot nicer to share and uh, you know you can handle those losses a little bit better Speaking about friendship, we're always hearing about Rachel and Emma, Rachel and Emma, Rachel and Emma. But what about Lisa and Joanne? Yeah, we're really good friends. We um, love playing front end together and uh, spend some time together off the ice. We both love coffee. That's like our thing that we share. So Anything in that coffee? Uh, I drink wine black. Okay. She drinks hers with milk. Oh, I was thinking more like, you know, are we, are we dropping no. something? No. <laughs> okay. Team Homan had uh, a, a, an amazing streak at the World Championships in Beijing going completely undefeated. How difficult is it to not get cocky? Curling is a really humbling sport and I think the, the second it starts to go to your head, you're gonna get knocked down pretty quickly. We're gonna move into a section of the show right now that I like to call Fantastic Questions. The first question here comes from Linda McGrath. Linda says, Lisa, don't you think that the stats people should start thinking about weighing the difficulty of shots played, namely the tick shot. I am really annoyed that you are not named to number one all-star team. Some leads who can draw beats you out and they don't even play the tick shot. Their stats would plummet if they did. Ooh, scorching hot take there from Linda. For me, like, yeah, it's nice to be recognized as a lead. I think, you know, Linda kind of recognize how difficult the tick shot is and that maybe sometimes my stats don't reflect um, the degree of difficulty but at the end of the day I'm part of a team we're trying to win championships so individual awards don't matter too much to me. Okay Lisa it's been wonderful having you on the show I want to wish you good luck for the rest of the season and thank you once again for joining me Thanks right for here having me. on the button.